U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin says the U.S. has authorized aid and assistance for people affected by Typhoon Mani and five previous storms that struck the Philippines. I've authorized U.S. forces to provide support to respond to the super typhoon. We've also secured another $1 million in urgent humanitarian aid. That will help surge aid to the Philippine people, Austin said on Monday in Manila. Typhoon Mani left at least three villagers missing, destroyed houses, knocked out power in entire towns and displaced large numbers of villagers before blowing away from the northern Philippines, worsening the crisis wreaked by five previous storms, officials said Monday. Mani was one of the strongest of the six major storms to hit the northern Philippines in less than a month and had sustained winds of up to 195 km per hour when it slammed into the eastern island province of Catanduanes on Saturday night. Austin commented while taking part in a groundbreaking for the Combined Coordination Center for the U.S. and Philippine Militaries. This center will enable real-time information sharing for our common operating picture. It will help boost interoperability for many, many years to come. And it will be a place where our forces can work side by side to respond to regional challenge, Austin said. Yeah, I mentioned earlier today, I recognize that uh, just yesterday we had another horrific storm in the country. And our thoughts, prayers, and condolences are with the people uh, who have been disadvantaged because of not only this storm, but the five storms that preceded uh, this last storm. And I've authorized U.S. forces to provide uh, direct support to respond to uh, the super typhoon. And we also secured another million dollars in urgent humanitarian aid. That will help surge uh, aid to. Uh, the this center will enable real-time information sharing for a, a common operating picture. It will help boost interoperability for many, many years to come. And it will be a place where our forces can work side by side to respond to President Marcos has repeated it several times that the United States' presence in the Indo-Pacific region is essential for maintaining peace and stability in this region. Ukraine has the ability to completely destroy the Russian Federation's Black Sea Fleet, which it has deployed near Novorossiysk. This opinion was expressed on Channel 24 by military expert, pilot instructor and retired Ukrainian Armed Forces Colonel Roman Svitan. He recalled that according to the Russians themselves, on the night of November the 15th, drones attacked Krimsk in Russia, not far from the Kirsch Bridge. At the same time, the drones could probably hit the Russian airbase. It is currently known that 50 UAVs were used, while the Ukrainian side has not officially reported an attack. According to Svitan, the airbase in Krimsk was home to Russian tactical aviation, which they used to attack southern Ukraine. At the same time, Krimsk is located near Novorossiysk, where the Russian Federation transferred the vast majority of the surviving Black Sea Fleet, and therefore the local aviation also covers Novorossiysk Bay and the terminal. The destruction of this air defense sector is also an opportunity to finally approach the destruction of the Novorossiysk port and terminal. The expert said, Recall Russia's Krasnodar region came under a massive drone attack recently. One of the targeted districts hosts a military airfield. Governor Venyamin Kondratiev said that two municipalities in the region were targeted, with Russian air defense intercepting approximately 36 drones over the Krimsk and Krasnoarmaisk districts. In Krimsk, debris from a drone fell on four residential properties, damaging the roof of one house and a car, according to Kondratiev. In the Krasnoamysk district, drone debris allegedly caused damage to the roof of a private house. No casualties were reported. 
The Russian telegram channel Astra cited local sources suggesting the drones may have been targeting the Krymsk military airbase. Astra noted that earlier reports from local officials claimed 46 drones had been intercepted over the Krymsk area. Astra said that his statement was later removed without explanation. The Russian Defense Ministry later said that its forces had intercepted 51 Ukrainian drones overnight, including 36 over the Krasnodar region, 10 over the Azov Sea, 3 over Russian-occupied Crimea and another 2 over the Belgorod region. Outmanned and outgunned on the battlefield, Ukraine has turned to homemade drones to try to exhaust Russian combat capabilities as much as possible from afar, targeting Russian military industrial complex facilities, air bases, or oil refineries. While Ukraine regularly claims attacks deep into Russia, it is difficult to verify the authenticity of the reports and the scale of the damage inflicted.